it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, back again with another video, and today we are going to be back on Westbridge Hills Edit. Today we are going to plant some sunflowers. So we're going to go ahead and hop in the truck, head on over here to the yard. There we go, that's the right button. And uh, then we will get uh, started on some planting. It's actually been a little while since I played on this. About a week or so now. Alright. Truck is good right there. Okay, so we need to open up. Um, actually, I don't know if we need to fill the planter right now or not. It should be full. Pretty sure I filled it. So we're going to go ahead and grab the uh, 5488 here. Get it hooked up to the planter. Get him warming up, and then we got to move the truck out of the way a little bit. Um, actually, no, don't. We can slide by there. So we'll go ahead and hook it up. And away we go. Okay, let's go. Whoa, not that far out of cab. Let's go out of cab just to make sure that we don't hit the truck. And I'm pretty sure that this is full. Yes, it is. So we need to switch this to oops, sunflowers. There we go. And we'll head on up here. We will get planting. So let's just see what our nutrients are like here. Seven four fifty seven four two. Okay, seven seven. Alright, so let's go ahead and get lined up for some planting. We are going to use the, uh, we aren't going to use GPS. We will need it for this. And we will go ahead and grab a screenshot before we get started here. Let's get that turned on, and planting we will go. Let's see, two, four, five. Not any controls out here for anything, is there? No, there's not. Wasn't sure if there was anything out there or not. Oop, we're missing some uh, precious spots. So I hope everybody is enjoying the uh, American Truck Sim. Uh, at this point, uh, only one has been seen. Actually, it was yesterday because I'm recording this the same day, but you guys are seeing this after. Uh, the American Truck Sim video. So this is your Tuesday video. Um, and then there will be another one tomorrow. And another one. Let's see. So it will be Wednesday. So then there would be one Friday and Sunday. I'm doing the American Truck Sim every other day. And then Farm Sim and Giants Editor in between. You guys will see the rest of that uh, when it comes out. Again. 
So yeah, in case you did not watch the uh, American Truck Sim video, I know some people uh, that watch my channel are only here for the farm sim. They're not here as much for the trucking and other games. So in case you did not watch it, um, I had talked about uh, mod projects. Um, so starting off, the uh, Chevy C30. It is actually not a C30. It is a K30. Um, I had sent the truck to LMB Farmer, who just messaged me. If you guys heard that noise, that was LMB messaging me on Steam, probably. Um, he, I sent him the truck uh, yesterday, or no, well, yesterday in this video, um, but today, so Monday morning, I sent him the truck uh, to have him fix a couple issues that I was having that I couldn't figure out. Um, the passenger side rims, they were backwards, so when you look at it, you would see right through, but then if you were looking towards the driver's side, then you could see the rims. So, uh, had him fix that. He had fixed that on my stack mover at one time too. So then he fixed that. Um, the camera, the outdoor camera was kind of acting finicky. Um, it was moving in a really weird way. So he fixed that and then the indoor camera was inverted. Uh, so basically, uh, for those of you that don't know, inverted cameras, basically when you move your mouse left, your camera looks right. When you move your mouse right, it looks left. Uh, it did go up and down accordingly, so that was still okay. Um, but, yeah, then um, he also, uh, it, float, it was kind of floating a little bit, so he also fixed that. Um, me and a buddy of mine just tested it out here tonight a little while ago in multiplayer. Worked perfect, got dirty, everything works great. Uh, I just have to do a few more things to it and it will be ready for release. Um, your, um, uh, your Saturday video, uh, I have a list right here. Monday is ATS, Tuesday FS here in game. Wednesday, ATS, Thursday, it'll be in Giants Editor. As I had mentioned in my um, ATS video, uh, I have some objects that I found, uh, map objects that I found for FS17 that I'm going to convert down to 15 to use on my map. Um, Friday will be ATS again. Saturday will be FS again. And in that video, I will show off the truck. By then, I should have it pretty much finished, I'm hoping. Uh, it depends on how much time I get to work on it, being that this is Thanksgiving week. Um, tomorrow morning, I have to go to uh, Firestone, which is a maintenance shop, uh, mechanic garage, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm getting new tires put on my pickup and an oil change done. And then Wednesday, I have uh, uh, pictures and Thanksgiving at um, one family member's house and then Thursday it's Thanksgiving at another family member's Friday at a family friend's and then leaving um, to go with my dad for the weekend so hopefully I'll get some stuff done on it um, right at this point all that I have left to do is add a character um, so that way when you drive it in game you know it's not there's not, uh, like, nobody sitting in it, you know. So that there's basically a person, you know, like this, rather than, you know, like that, but when you're in it. Um, so, I have to add that. And then I just finished adding the uh, ball to it. I found a ball on a 3D model site for free. And uh, finally got it uh, into Blender, AO'd. All that good stuff, put it in Giants Editor, it's on the truck. I just gotta script that in, uh, add the lines in the XML for that, and then um, I might find some different sounds for it. I don't know. Uh, it has the same sounds as the Chevy that we are using on this save game. Uh, I just stole them from my buddy. Um, 
but I might find some new sounds. Uh, if I don't, then I will talk to him, make sure it's okay with him that I use his sounds. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then it'll be ready for, elite for release for you guys. I will give you a sneak peek um, here in the store. Uh, here is the truck. I'm going to do a new store image. Um, I had taken a screenshot and I just put it in here so that way it was something different than the Giants editor screenshot because those drive me nuts. Um, so I had zoomed in and angled and all that stuff. So I'll be taking a new screenshot once I get it all finished up and uh, it'll fit correctly. Uh, we had no errors in our log when we did multiplayer test. Uh, the only errors were from my fuel trailer and that was because I had used images off of Google for the diamond plating and stuff so they weren't the correct size that uh, Giants Editor likes but uh, no big deal, no performance uh, things there. Uh, one day I would kinda like to go through and just fix a bunch of the mods that I use you know like on a regular basis you know like I have a lot of mods but I don't use them all on a normal basis but a lot of the ones that I do use they have you know like a bunch of texture issues and stuff because you know either they're not DDS format or they're not the correct size or whatever so just kind of go and slowly fix stuff I am gonna you know start hopefully using more and more of my own mods and stuff like that in the future but, you know, until then, I'd like to have, you know, smooth running game and all of that good stuff. So, uh, this planter definitely does not use very much seed. But, uh, yeah, back to the mod projects. Um, so, yeah, that's the Chevy K30. <coughs> um, the Dodge Ram, uh, I have not worked on that at all in ages. Um, I just have not had the ambition to work on that interior on it because uh, the last time I worked on it it was still a major pain in the butt and it still is so yeah I just haven't had the ambition to work on that uh, my dual lift comb bottom trailer I have not done anything on any further either I want to get to working on that again because I would really really like to get that in game sometime soon because that would be a fun addition um, and then also to get that video series out for you guys uh, of watching a model a model a mod go from a cube all the way to a fully functioning mod in game so basically showing the entire modeling process the whole a the whole AO process the whole script process all of that stuff all the testing and everything uh, it'll be a very long series and it'll be in, you know, separated into very, quite a few parts, but uh, it will definitely be worth it. It'll be cool to make, um, you know, and cool to give you guys to watch as well. So yeah, um, I did get more models from Polygonish just so that way I had them bought and done with, and I wasn't saying like, uh, oh wow, you know. Also because he went down on his prices a lot. Like one, the, uh, the grain cart was like $40 I want to say, or 30 And he dropped it down to 19 uh, Auto save there. Uh, dropped it down to 19 You know, his stuff went down a lot. So I was like, okay, before something happens and he shoots his prices back up, I'm going to um, get these things bought. I did start working on one of them uh, and got got it pretty much separated in Blender. Uh, I did that one night and uh, it is a uh, Oxbow 8435 I want to say. I'm probably wrong on that but I don't know. Uh, uh, corn picker I think is what it is. Um, you know, it's basically for getting copped corn, um, seed corn harvester, corn picker, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I saw that and right away a bunch of ideas came into my head. A bunch of ideas that are beyond my scripting knowledge, 
right now, but maybe in the future, you know, maybe it'll be kind of worth it. Um, you know, but yeah. Um, and then my map, I have not done anything with it really other than put it on a fresh starter map. Uh, it's the exact same starter map it was on before, just a fresh copy of it. Uh, because I had taken, I had gone onto Google and found some kind of somewhat realistic sky textures to the area. And I had overlaid it on top of the sky textures that I had on it. And when I put it in game, uh, the game did not like that at all. So, even after I changed them back to what they originally were, um, before I edited that it still did not like it so I just put it on a fresh base map and um, I'll go from there so yeah uh, yeah so we're just about done with our planting here well, I'm thinking of it um, make sure I'm still recording uh, trying to figure out what I did with soil my reference sheet there we go need to figure out what herbicides we need for sunflower A and B okay so once we're done planting we'll go ahead and spray herbicide A and then we'll go a growth stage and put down some water and then, um, then we will put down, uh, herbicide B. Well, it's going to be AA and BB because that lasts longer than just A. Uh, the double letter lasts a lot longer than the single letter. Not sure why, but hey, whatever, it works, so. Yeah, this is a neat planter. Uh, definitely wish it went down farther. Like, wish you could lower the back legs. And no mouse controls. So, can't lower that. It'd be nice if you could because then you could put all the weight on the cedar and then the cedar would just kind of ride across the ground instead of uh, being off the ground like it is right now. Go ahead and skip a row, I guess. Just for the fun of it. Probably would have made all these turns a whole lot easier just to go every other row, but... Well, I was not uh, thinking of that. definitely wish that the GPS mod would go straight um, up and down. I don't know why it keeps wanting to go at an angle, but it does. Definitely wish I could get it to stop doing that. Or at least just get it to go straight. Especially for spraying, because once we hit the second growth stage, um, when we start putting down some water, then we'll be running over crop and I guess I'd kind of rather have it uh, be going you know with it but so now like here maybe we can get it lined up uh, let's save this first save it Definitely can't uh, get that to work. <clears throat> that kind of sucks, but can't do anything about it, I guess. They're kind of lined up. Oh, well, we'll 
just load up our original course. That way we can finish off these two rows here. And we just got two rows left and then we can get started on some spraying. I think we'll use the 4440 for the spraying because um, we uh, can take the duels off of that uh, easier, mainly because A, they're selectable, and B, um, you know, the duels for this tractor, the dual rack, is at the dealership. Um, we unfortunately do not have a forklift or a loader tractor with pallet forks to move the uh, dual rack to the farm, so uh, it just kind of has to sit there for now. I suppose we could reset it, but um, I'd rather not, because then A, the duels will come off, and then B, the only way I can move it, or B, it'll be sitting in the middle of the yard, and C, the only way I could move it was B, to just push it with a tractor, which is even less realistic. <laughs> so, not doing that either. Last pass, we'll go ahead and grab a screenshot again. I still have not gone and looked at the uh, XML for this tractor to see how long the dirt duration is. Uh, it must be fairly long. I know this tractor gets dirty. So, because I remember seeing it dirty pretty sure but uh, it just is not wanting to get it and this planter I know that this does not have a dirt skin on it uh, it came with one it was either your options were clean or dirty and the dirty one I thought oh maybe it's washable no it's just dirty all the time so that sucked but uh, lifted up, turned off, and raised up. Ooh, it even has an animation. Cool. Nope, not gonna work. Thought maybe it would pick up that little section, but I guess not. Alright, so we will get this thing back into the shed again, and we'll go ahead and grab the sprayer. Um, we'll use the 4440 right away, since uh, that's what we'll have to use in the end. So it'd be just, just as easy to uh, hook it up now, and then it'll save fuel in this tractor as well. Right, so I do have the duels on it now. So we'll go ahead and take those off. And then we'll go out and hook up to the sprayer. Which is right there. <clears throat> okay. Q, X. Go. So it must be about half full. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead, go over here and top it off, and then also switch it to herbicide AA. Oops, wrong button. Yep, so that does actually work. That's kind of neat. Okay, so A, B, C, D, A, A. There we go. And away we go. <clears throat> so I'm going to try something here. Uh, we're going to start on this end of the field. 
But I'm also going to try and come up with a way to get this GPS stuff figured out. Let's try it just like this. I think we're actually fairly straight there. I think so. Come on. Oh, that's right. Um, what is the working width of this? If I remember correctly, it's nine. Ha. Huh. There we go. Or not. Oh, we smoked out way off. Oh, that's right. We did not use this. So 24, 9, let's go down half a meter, or nearly a whole meter, I guess. Okay, so let's go ahead and slide this over, and I think it looks kind of like we've got it. So, we're gonna see that we do. Looks like it's lining up pretty well. It is. Awesome. So we are going to save this. So then, from now on, all that we have to do... Whoa. All that we have to do is, um... Uh, 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 change our working width. And then just slide it over. Alright. So evidently it's uh, not going to have anything different in appearance, so... Actually, let's just go ahead and go to the first growth stage here. I think that'd probably be better. So we're going to put this to slow. Just until we get... I'll turn that back off and just go to the next day. Just until morning. Okay, then we'll let soil mod finish. Hopefully our crops aren't too fully grown. And then we'll bring up our soil mod HUD so that way we can uh, see what our fields look like so our line did not come down any which is kind of saddening because that means that that will reduce our leg or our yield our leg our yield so this is showing that it has herbicide on it already but um, I see no weeds yet but soil mod also has not finished. So. Okay. Let's go ahead and spray. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab a new screenshot here updated one I guess you could call it so our course I can tell is just a little bit off you can tell by the way that the wheel lanes by the way the withering works is working I should say But, with it working that way, I'm not going to complain because it is less crop that is withered. <clears throat> which is fine by me.
but it's definitely a lot better than it was when I'm going sideways across the field. So that is a major plus. Now we're back to the double rows. Yeah, I definitely like this tractor. Um, TMJD man definitely did a very, very nice job on this tractor. And there goes our timer. So we will just go ahead and finish spraying because it's not going to take very long to spray this field. And then we will call it an episode. And then uh, in the next episode, we will um, spray some water. Uh, what's the forecast look like? Yeah, we'll put down some water and some our next herbicide. And then we will be all set and ready to go for harvest, which will be next week, hopefully. Oof. One, maybe two rows in that spot left. Yikes. That's never pleasant. But, uh, in real life, you either go between the rows, which is normally what you do. Um... You don't normally drive right over top of it. Uh, this wheel is in between the rows, so that's more realistic. Um, but usually you are in between the rows and uh, are not like this. So, But uh, it's farm sim. You can only get so realistic. I definitely don't like when it withers more than it should. It's like right now it's withering beside where the tire is running. It makes sense to have the dual on on that side, but it doesn't make sense for only single wheels. And if you had the duals on, I'd be doing it on the other side as well. The sad part is we're probably losing a few thousand dollars here but uh, I guess that's what happens can't control everything I guess so there we're only taking out two rows instead of three This really isn't my style of picture angles, but I like that. That looks like a good shot, so we are taking it. So here we are going to spray the grass some. Because I'd rather not, I'd rather waste it on the grass than kill more crop so so be it I guess alright guys so that's gonna about do it for this video if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. My video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays. Never mind. My video schedule is down below. Man, I was starting to get into my old uh, intro or outro there. My video schedule is down below as well as my PC specs and links to my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you tomorrow.